Morgan Schwanke is the head of business development for Restream.io, easy for me to say, product that we're actually using right now to uh, go to several different platforms. We're using Restream to go to Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, and that means Twitter, Twitch, and Mixer. Morgan, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate having you on the show. Of course. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about uh, Restream as a company, and then we'll get into uh, specifics about actually restreaming your content. Sure. Uh, so as a company, we've been around since uh, 2015, and um, our mission is to help content creators and organizations grow engage and monetize their audience across all the live streaming platforms. Um, so how we do that is we're the most popular way for content creators and organizations to stream live to more than 30 different platforms simultaneously. So we support all the major platforms like uh, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Periscope, Mixer. Um, and we also support more than 30 other platforms globally. Uh, beyond multi-streaming, we also have an e ecosystem of tools that help drive engagement and monetization. So, for example, we have a chat aggregation tool that aggregates all the incoming chats across these different platforms into one council. So you can easily see who they're coming from, which platform, and respond. Uh, we have an analytics tool which aggregates analytics. Uh, in terms of views, reach, engagement, chatters. Um, we have a monitor tool so you can monitor the health of your streams across the different platforms. Um, we have a scheduler tool so you can actually schedule pre-recorded video content to go live. We have all these tools that, that help drive engagement and monetization across these different platforms. Um, so that's like a bit about Restream. What do you think is the differentiator for Restream? Uh, because there's other, there's obviously yeah. other choices out there. What do you think yeah. makes Restream uh, really a popular choice right now? Yeah, I would say um, we were, we've kind of been like first to market, uh, I would say starting in 2015. So we've, we've built up this va vast community of, uh, of streamers um, and uh, we have now 1.6 million content creators in our community using our product and they're all helping each other and posting on forums, creating videos. So I think that's like a, a great aspect of using Restream as you know, you're going to have a community of other Restreamers that you can lean on. Um, also, we're just hands down the most reliable solution out there. I think there's a lot of companies that say that they can handle multi-streaming, they can handle your bandwidth, but uh, the reality is you might have frame drops or fragmentation or issues with their streams. Um, we we uh, have a very reliable solution, and that's because we've spent the last several years building this infrastructure that can support our entire community, all the bandwidth, and a really global uh, streaming solution. That's great. Um, what are some tips for people who uh, are new to restreaming, or even people who've been doing it for a while, for streaming out to multiple channels that that perhaps they hadn't have thought of uh, some things they might not have thought of doing. Well, I think, um, you know, I mentioned the scheduler tool. I think that's really interesting. Uh, if, uh, if it, I know live streaming as a whole is quite spontaneous is a great way to engage with your, your community, your audience. Uh, but, um, if you have like a, a, a pre-recorded, uh, video, a highlight reel, uh, an interview uh, that you want to actually edit and then schedule to go live. What's really interesting about that is that your audience is going to get pinged uh, as if it's a live uh, stream, as opposed to if you're just uploading a VOD, um, uh, you're, you're not going to get that same type of notification. So I think um, using, uh, uh, using the, the scheduler feature is really interesting. A lot of uh, particularly streamers that are starting to think about their uh, streaming as a business organizations, they want to um, have a high-end video go live. We can do that using Scheduler. Um, I, you know, I, I keep harping on. I, I harp on these tools to use because they're just so great. We've built these tools basically because our streamer community, after we built this great multi-streaming tool, uh, asked us to build these other ones. So the chat aggregation is is fantastic right. because um, it's crazy to have all your chat uh, chats <laughs> open at the same time. Like, why not just use our uh, use one console. Um, and, and same with, uh, analytics, uh, 
you, why not just have it all in one place? So that, that's kind of our mission is to build these tools that help make it really easy for you to just manage everything in one hub. Yeah, I mean, it's it's phenomenal to be able to get all the comments in, in one place because that's really what I think holds a lot of people back from multi-channel streaming is the fear that they won't be able to engage people where they're watching uh you know if they're only used to going to one platform it's pretty easy you follow that one chat with four chats five chats six chats that could be going on at once uh without that restream chat feature i i think it's almost impossible to keep up with with that kind of thing unless you've got like a studio with you know five monitors or you know a team bringing you questions and comments right. uh, when when it comes to uh live streaming talk show this type of content that we're doing here versus say gaming content right. yeah um are there any uh amongst the 30 or so platforms that I'm not going to <laughs> that I should look into are, are there any sort of hidden gems out there that are are looking for for talk show content Are you going live on LinkedIn? Uh not yet. I'm waiting to get uh, approved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting so, to get that. We, we just uh, added support for LinkedIn uh, obviously or um so they they were they've been kind of quiet about rolling this out, but I think it was in February or March they uh, announced that they'll be rolling out their LinkedIn Live platform starting in beta, and there's a application process uh, to 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 go through if you do want to stream live on LinkedIn. It's it's very simple, but um, and if you're using Restream, uh, uh, I, I, you can you can just contact me uh, if you want to get your application approved because we're working directly with their. Uh, with their company to 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 support uh, clients. So so I, I would say LinkedIn is a, a really interesting uh, platform that I think is probably, in my opinion, has the most uh, opportunity for growth in the remainder of this year going into next year um, for, for, for 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 talk shows or for professional streaming or interviews. Um, it's a place where you can build a professional presence and. And uh, you already have connections on there and those people will get pinged uh, when you go live. So it's a fantastic way to engage with the, that audience. I want to talk about a, a couple of uh, things that I think Restream can help with that have kind of been uh, discussed a lot in, in the live streaming community. One is, uh, let's stay on, on, on LinkedIn. And for some people, uh, you know, doing the production and so forth is it has been a bit of a a stretch. They just want to get on and go live on LinkedIn from their webcam. They don't yeah. really want to use an encoder or connect with another, yeah. another platform. Now you guys have a webcam option. So even if I, so let's say I just wanted to jump on with the webcam. I didn't want to set up a show yeah. or anything like that. Um, and I wasn't interested in multi-platform streaming. I could still use Restream as my connection. Is that correct? Sure. Yeah, for just one platform, you're saying? Right. I'm saying I could just go from yeah. the webcam yeah, yeah. through Restream without okay. any, any other software or streaming to any other channel, right? Yep, yep. So we have this feature called Go Live, which uh, it, it will um, basically uh, charge up or, or start up uh, any, any cam that you have, including your computer cam, uh, your webcam on your, your laptop or computer. Uh, so, um, when you, when you log into restream, you'll see the option of streaming from a particular encoder destination or screen capture solution. And then also the go live feature. And, uh, if you click go live, it will ask for permission to access your webcam and then you can just go live straight from, straight from there. You can go live to one platform. You can go live to as many as you want. And the the other question I had um, is for uh, mobile. Can you go live from from mobile with that? Yep, you can. Yeah, so uh, you just go to restream.io on your your phone, and then again go live and uh, pr give permission to access your 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 phone's cam, and you'll go live from your phone's cam. And so that becomes a workaround for YouTube Live, right? Because YouTube uh, has now said you can only go live from their mobile app if you have a thousand subscribers or more. Right. But they don't stop you from using an encoder or third-party software. So essentially, Restream would then serve like your encoder or Azure yeah. encoder. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's right. 
so um, those are a couple cool things that, uh, you know, in addition to the multi-channel streaming is your ability to easily get on to platforms that might not be that easy to get on otherwise. Right. That's right. Yep. Yeah. So, um, talk about, uh, y- y- for, for those who may be gamers, talk about, uh, y- you guys have a big following within the gaming yeah. community. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 So, um, I, you know, most, most, most game game streamers are, uh, using screen capture solutions like OBS or XSplit, uh, and using, uh, overlay or donation tools like stream labs or stream elements. And then they're using Restream to go live on multiple platforms. Um, and so they'll easily set up OBS and XSplit to point at Restream. And then they'll go live on platforms primarily like Twitch and YouTube and Facebook, as well as Mixer. Um, and I would say that's like general. That's generally how right. uh, consumer gamer streamers are, are using our products. But we also work with a lot of large uh, game publishers and esports organizations. And what we're finding that's really interesting is that those companies are um, going live to some platforms that you might not have known have live streaming platform, uh, uh, presence like, uh, steam has a live streaming, uh, platform. So that's where you can purchase and download games. Uh, and so those companies are going live there. And then also the platforms in Asia and Eastern Europe. So, uh, in uh, China, there's Billy, Billy, do ya and who ya, uh, that are very popular. Um, and in Eastern Europe, there's VK, uh, and good games, uh, which are like the Facebook and Twitch equivalent in Eastern Europe. And so, um, one of the reasons that large companies are, are kind of focusing on those, uh, uh, platforms is because, uh, of kind of the great, the great, uh, firewall in China, uh, makes it very hard to watch, uh, Twitch and YouTube content. And so these other platforms are gaining traction in those markets as a result. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, Eileen Smith, who had been watching on, uh, YouTube has jumped over to Facebook and asked, mm-hmm. is there any possibility that Instagram will open up their API this year? So, uh, Instagram will probably not, potentially ever open up an API. Um, but that being said, we are working, uh, our team is working and we are also working with the Instagram team to build a solution that would make it possible to stream to Instagram using, uh, a restream. And, um, there's a, there's a possibility that that product may come out this, this year. What any any other uh, big news that you see coming down the pike, or any other uh, changes to the live streaming landscape that you think uh, might be coming along this year? Sure. Well, um, I'll speak to a few uh, a few restream updates, and then just overall sure. industry updates. So uh, we are launching launching a monetization uh, platform that will provide the opportunity for streamers to be able to make money uh, off of um, brand or game publisher sponsored content. So what that might look like is uh, if you're like a game streamer, you can actually get paid for playing the games of game publishers that are launching soon. And if you're a uh, just maybe an IRL streamer, professional streamer, uh, you could get paid for uh, mentioning brand or product uh, or providing reviews on certain products. Uh, so that's something that uh, we will actually be launching later this month that we're really excited about. And and just in the overall landscape, I think um, uh, I would say that very excited about LinkedIn Live, uh, continuing to see Asia as a market really uh, and the platforms there continue to grow, which is really exciting. And, um, I would say that, uh, third, like now live streaming, I think is starting to become just overall a part of everyone's social media strategy. Two years ago, even a year ago, I don't think that was necessarily the case, but, um, if if you're serious about social media, which is pretty much every big company, every big tech company and, and so many other people, then, uh, live streaming is now becoming a part of that social media strategy. You mentioned earlier, uh, about 
the scheduler where you can upload or you can schedule uploaded video ra- or recorded video rather than than live video, but run it as it's as though it is live in the sense that people get the notifications. Um, can you talk a little bit more about that? Maybe how some live streamers are using it or how some companies are using sure. it? Yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll speak to like a, like a game publisher or like a company might um, upload like a a pre-recorded set of interviews and then they'll have like highlight reel type content in between. Um, so that's, that's like one way we've seen, seen it being done. Um, or if you, um, want to, I mean, we see people using it as like, uh, prior to going live, they'll upload a video and there will be like maybe a, a countdown clock, um, or, uh, after a stream they'll have a video scheduled to go live that kind of provides information for the for the community so um those are those are kind of a few ways but generally speaking it's if you have anything if you have a video and you want it you it's pre-recorded it's edited um then you can schedule it to go live and we, we we can uh uh using our our tool you can um schedule pretty large videos to do so to go live yeah so you don't see much of a downside in doing it then. I mean, it's just another chance to put your message right. in front of people. I think, I think the, uh, the not, not necessarily a downside, but, uh, it's, it's a different type of engagement experience, obviously, because if you're, uh, going live and someone asks a question, you're not going to be able to, uh, kind of adjust your live stream experience based on the question or take a dialogue in a certain direction based on audience engagement. Uh, that's not to say you can't still engage with the audience. Once it goes live, you can, run you can get on our chat and 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 certainly engage with the the audience through chat uh but you won't obviously be able to change the dynamics of the uh the stream itself because it's uh scheduled pre-recorded content wow um so a lot of exciting things going on with restream you can learn more about restream.io by going to restream.io you can also go to livestreamdeals.com restreams featured at the top of the page along with the products and services from our other guests. You can click and it'll go right through. You can sign up. It's free to get started as long as you're not going to a Facebook page. Is that correct? Or a few of the yeah. premium uh, right. spaces. Talk about how people can get can get sure. started. So uh, free to get going, stream to uh, 30 plus destinations. Um, and if you uh, want some premium functionality, for example, if you want to stream to like multiple pages on a particular platform, if you want to unlock analytics, you want to unlock scheduler capability, other premium features, you can upgrade. And we have uh, four different paid paid plans. So uh, we have standard $19 per month. We have pro, which is $49 per month. We have premium, which is 99 and we have business, which is 199 and is LinkedIn included in in all the plans, or is that a, a standard plan? Yeah, so you can stream to your personal LinkedIn page, but if you want to stream to a company page, you'll need to upgrade. It's the same with Facebook. You can stream to a personal Facebook page uh, for free, but if you want to upgrade, uh, if you want to stream to a, 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 pay, a company uh, or a profile, then you'll you'll need to upgrade. Wow. And one thing I saw that, that was kind of interesting, the, the maybe a few weeks ago, I saw ABC News uh, going to LinkedIn using Restream. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah we have, we've got a lot of big companies out there using our product. And uh, it's it's certainly exciting to to see uh, these big, big companies uh, using it. Um, so um, we're thrilled about it. Well, it's great to meet you and chat with you, Morgan Schwanke from uh, Restream.io. He's the head of business development and uh, definitely some good things coming, but it's already a great product and uh, I've recently started using it and love it. We're using it for this broadcast. Thanks so much for coming on, Morgan. I really appreciate it and uh, look forward to uh, all these exciting developments coming this year. Thanks so much for having me.